Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs and I've got a beautiful card for you today, a happy birthday card. This is featuring the Curved Occasions Bundle. Um, I'm featuring this on my blog this week, so if you're looking for more ideas, make sure you hop back over there. It is in our brand new mini catalog, September to December 2023. I call it the holiday catalog, but this is not a holiday stamp. It's on page 64 and looks so, so, so cute. I'm actually gonna be making a video to case this card for you so you can see that one. Um, also, I am using something called uh, Abundant Beauty Decorative Masks. And I was really attracted to these. Oh, look at how beautiful that sunflower is. Um, and then I realized there's even some more. It's not just the sunflower mask. There's some pattern masks. Last week on my Facebook Live, I used this one. And this week, we're going to use this one, okay? All right. Well, let's get started. I think what we will do is do our masking first. It's a little bit messy. Let's do that one. You're going to need a piece of red paper okay here is my mask now it comes white but i use my alcohol inks on here my stamp and blends so it stained it if that bothers you i don't know maybe not use your stamp and blends but it doesn't bother me at all because the the effect is so beautiful i have a berry burst card base and i'm going to use some post-it tape to tape this down you can use the lines on your grid paper to make sure that both your card and your mask are straight. All right, I'm gonna put that there and tape that down. Now I've got a small blending brush and Berry Burst ink, and I'm gonna ink it up, run it off over here first, and then come over to my card base. Um, this is gonna create a tone on tone look. Um, you could do this any color you want, um, I chose Berry Burst just because I've seen so many beautiful samples with Berry Burst lately online that I have vowed to use it more because it's so beautiful. Now, the reason I take my brush and do this over here is because when you set your brush down at first, it gives a hard mark. In that way, that hard mark is not going to be on my card. It's going to be over on my grid paper. Okay, so you can do that for as long as as you like there we go now i didn't that's too boring and plain for me so what i decided to do is take my this is um dark starry sky and flick some ink onto my leaves okay and it's only going to go where there are leaf openings i'm also going to take dark uh, blackberry bliss this one doesn't show up as much but it does give your leaves a little bit of texture and i'm taking the brush end tip of my blend and just flicking that ink on there all right let's take a look and see what it looks like beautiful so it gave those leaves just a little bit of extra texture all right so let's move that out of the way and we'll put that over there on hold for a little while. I'm gonna show you a new product I forgot to show you. These are the deckled edge circles. They are humongous. When I opened them up, I was like, oh my gosh, they're huge. Look, they are bigger than a card base, okay? So we're gonna use, and let's see if I can remember which one. I'm gonna have to look at my um, card. We're gonna use this one. So, this is, let's count from the inside, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The eighth smallest, okay? Um, okay oh, look, I have a ruler here too, and I can tell you the measurement. This one is of roughly three and a half inches. All right, so first, we're going to stamp these two um, cakes on here. I Yesterday, when I made this card, I stamped... I cut the circle and then stamped the cakes and they were kind of off centered. So I thought, you know what, if we stamp them on our white first, then we can cut the circle out and, and center the circle. All right. So I'm going to put them about half an inch apart. Okay. So let's just go kind of like this. That may be over a little bit too far. Let's see. And this. Let's see, can I get them centered? Oh yeah, good. Okay, all right, so let's cut them out. And I'm gonna do them a little bit higher, I think, than I did the last time. And we'll bring over our cut and emboss machine. I'll put this on here, 
Make sure it's centered on the sides. And my other plate is over here. And we're gonna run this through. Hopefully I didn't set that down in my ink pad. Bring that back. We're gonna need that scrap of white as well because we're gonna, we're gonna um, cut out one of those cakes to pop up. So let's just stamp this in one of the corners like that, okay? All right, now let's grab, I'm gonna use Berry Burst Light, and I'm gonna use that for the cake stand. Like that and for one of the flowers. I'm just gonna color one of these cakes and then I'll speed up the video so you don't have to watch me color all of them. But they're all gonna be colored the same. Okay, so berry burst. Then I'm gonna take dark bubble bath and do the larger flower. These are alcohol markers, so you wanna make sure you've stamped in um, water-based ink. So I used Memento. And now I'm gonna do olive, old olive for the leaves like that. And that's it, really. All right, I'll color the rest and I'll come back and we'll finish. Look at how much we've done. Truth is one person can matter. Look what ideas can become. All right, well, <laughs> I colored my flowers opposite does it matter? Do you guys think? I don't think it matters. Oh, and I forgot that. Okay, real quick, real quick. I mentioned in my previous video that if you are of a certain age, I would say 40 plus, you might need your readers for this. As I get closer and closer to my 50s, I'm needing those glasses for my coloring. Man, getting old. Not fun. As my husband says, it's better than the alternative. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to fussy cut this one out with my paper snips. I have a glue dot stuck to the edge of my paper snips. Pretend like you guys don't see that, okay? Pretend like my paper snips are pristine and clean. I'm a pretty messy stamper, pretty messy crafter. I don't know about you guys. I know some people are super nice and neat. I am not. I'm kind of like a tornado when I'm crafting. I just... I don't wanna take time to clean things. I just wanna keep crafting. Do you guys understand, do you feel me? I'm sure there is like a 50-50 out there. Some of you are like, yes, friend, that's me. And the others are like, ugh, no, gosh, please clean up your mess. I don't like to borrow stamps from my friends when they are the super clean kind, because then I worry I'm not gonna be able to clean them good enough to return them. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Now I have a um, stylish shape banner that I have cut out from our something eclectic designer series paper. I hope I'm saying that right. I call it the wrong thing all the time. Um, either look, this pattern on the back would go beautifully as well. It's the same colors, but I'm going to stick with the stripes and I'm going to put it just right underneath our our little pedestals. Then we'll take this one. And we'll put this one, and I popped this guy up just a little bit higher than the other two, like that, okay? And then let's stamp our sentiment. We're gonna use that really cool punch that goes with this bundle. It's, um, oh, and I don't have my embossing buddy. Well, let's see if this works. Um, this stamp set has these several of these little sentiments that fit right inside of that window. I know you can't see that. It's clear ink. It's a very sticky ink called Versamark. Okay. And looks like I did pretty good. You want to make sure that there's no extra little granules hanging around because they will, in fact, dry where they're not supposed to. All right. Hit it with your heat tool for about 10 or 15 seconds. You'll see it turn shiny. This is gold embossing powder. I think I mentioned that. Okay, give it just a second. 
It's a little bit soft for the first, I don't know, maybe five or 10 seconds and you can kind of smear it. I mean, that's probably even an exaggeration, maybe not even that long. All right, so then stick that in there and look, like a glove. Now we're gonna take some minis, mini dimensionals, and put these right on here, like that. Put that right there. And now let's bring back our cute little card base. This post-it tape, you guys, is a must. I will link that on Amazon. You have to have it. I'm telling you, it is the best tool to have in your arsenal. It holds down things, but doesn't rip the paper. All right, I've got a strip of glorious gingham designer series paper. We're just gonna put that across the middle, two inches by what should be four and a fourth. And then we're gonna take our fun little circle, our deckled edge circle. I gotta brainstorm some ideas for these large circles. They are fun, really fun. All right, and then we're gonna put that right in the middle. Now, last but not least, I'm gonna take a gold bow. This is our Simply Elegant trim. Of course, I pulled it from the wrong end. It comes in gold and silver. You could tie that bow like that. And we will do a mini glue dot. Oops. And put that right there at the top. And there you go. A beautiful card. Now that that mask was like fall leaves, but don't you think it goes beautifully? I think it does. All right, you guys, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Hop back to my blog. There's a complete, whoops, <laughs> complete supply list there for you. And I have a total of five Curved Occasions projects if you're looking for more ideas. Thanks, everybody. Have fun stamping. Bye-bye.